never again. That's the rallying cry from student survivors fueled by the loss of their peers. If all our government and president can do is send thoughts and prayers, then it's time for victims to be the change that we need to see. Emma Gonzalez is one of the teens calling on politicians to pass stricter gun laws, along with Delaney Tarr, David Hogg, and Cameron Caskey. What do you think is the one thing about your generation that you that can really spark change here? The fact that we're getting shot. And I hate that it took hitting me right at home for me to get involved with this, but I just have to forgive myself for that and keep moving. The thing is, as much as I would love to be worrying about prom dresses and college acceptance letters, in my mind, I can't think about anything now except change. All I can think about is those 17 faces. They're taking their movement nationwide with a march on Washington next month. How does a march bring change? Uh, think of all the things that have happened since the first women's march. We've had the Me Too movement. And along with those women, it's, it's our turn and it's the, the grieving students' turn to put an end to this and be heard. We are going to make ourselves so loud, so brazen, that they won't be able to ignore us in the White House. This is all about gaining a platform so that we can discuss with them, creating common sense gun laws and stricter gun legislation. We want assault rifles off the market. Automatic, semi-automatic have no place in civilian society. Is it a slippery slope? Do we start with AR-15s and then more gun rights are taken away from people? No, That's the thing. That we have a right to live. At this point, what does it mean to have rights to have guns? What we're on right now is a slippery slope that we're getting to the bottom of. This needs to be where we stop and we start to stand up. The White House said today that President Trump is in favor of improving the background check system for gun sales. He's set to hold a listening session with teachers and students on Wednesday, but some students have already said they will not attend.